You're listening to Masala Chai. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Adrian. Welcome back to another episode of Masala Chai with your boy. You know, maybe I should actually change the name to Masala Chai with your boy. Actually, no, never mind. That, that's kind of crazy. Never, ignore that thought. It was just a thought. It was exactly what it was. Uh, should I bring this microphone a bit higher? I realized that because I was kind of focused on using my my camera here as uh, as a main source of of uh, of someone I'm talking to. Because obviously, some people are not going to be watching this on YouTube. They're going to be listening to these, listening to this on Spotify. And if you do so, you're obviously not going to be able to see me look at you guys because that'd be kind of weird imagine spotify you just close your eyes you can just see me looking at you that's <laughs> it's not a thought that i'd be i'd be happy with myself <laughs> but what well, you know i'm always watching so i'm kidding anyways i actually wasn't planning on making an episode today because i wasn't plan okay i didn't really plan this episode out i i, I generally plan an episode um a few days before i actually even get to work on it um uh, the, the trick to my podcasts is that I don't plan out the script. Okay, so people, they, they, they've been telling me that I'm kind of fluent at this, I'm, I'm pretty good. Um, my, my friend, my close friend Rana, he, he had told me, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in a while, but um, after after he hit me up a few days ago and he was like, yo, Adrian, you're, the podcast you've been doing is, is amazing, man. I was like, I was like that. <laughs> that was my phone notification. Probably should turn that off for a second. Anyways, so I was like, oh, thanks. That's a, that's a very nice compliment. And I was quite happy because I, I was happy to see that people can, can you know, hold up a minute. My phone was, I swear, my phone was at 56%. And mind you, it's charging this entire time. I turned off the notifications and it's 49% now. What What's going on? Anyways, as I was saying, uh, Rana told me that uh, he really enjoyed my podcast and that I was kind of fluent, and I was I was quite happy to hear that. And I was wondering, wait, how is that true? What 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 am I doing that's actually you know giving off that result? And I, and I realized that the 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 true reality behind a, a, a successful podcast is uh, being able to be able to make things on the spot. Improvisation is probably the most important thing. Uh, in life in general as well but uh, for me uh, in this podcast series it's it's very very important and it works very well so as a matter of fact everything i'm saying now is is made up on the spot i, I don't have anything specifically focused on uh when i'm making these so yeah uh, that's that's th- thank thank you Rana. Uh, and and yeah so pretty much today's episode is is about probably should get to that first it's almost five minutes uh today's episode is about managing people you know now I'm no manager at 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 any place. I don't have an official title or a rank or whatever power placement that suggests that I am a manager. But uh, people, it's something that we deal with on a daily basis, and uh, I, I think it's worth worth talking about because uh, something we're forgetting is is that uh, we kind of kind of get off on the wrong foot with people at sometimes. Um, as a matter of fact, the other day. I actually went in for my driving lessons and uh, I I was actually late and, and I was late because I didn't know where I needed to go. Now I was late uh, around two, two, three minutes. It was just two, three minutes. I wasn't, I wasn't like 15 minutes late. Um, but the driving instructor was, was, was rather irritated by the, by the fact that I, I was uh, a few minutes late. He was like, you know, uh, if you don't know, you need to ask people, you know, um, uh, we're not going to wait for you. And it was true. I mean, I'm, I'm not denying that he's 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 wrong. He, he's definitely correct. And, uh, you know, truth be told, I did ask around people. And I still I was kind of confused on where to go because there are so many cars inside there. And I was wondering which one is mine. I'm just trying to find which one mine is. Um, and by the time I did, it was it was past it was two minutes past my uh, my time I needed to be there. That was just unfortunate. It's my first time and uh, my first time being there. And you know you know what they say about first impressions are very important. I think that kind of does apply in this scenario because I don't think you really liked <laughs> liked me but in, in particular afterwards. Um, but uh, upon the second and the third uh, 
um, meaning he he was he was a bit more softened up. He was he was a bit more it was a bit more nicer. Uh, but but yeah, and and similarly, um, my fourth lesson that I had in driving, um, uh, my my instructor who was my my previous instructor's buddy because I'm in a team where they switch shifts, uh, and uh, I actually really like the second guy. He's amazing. He's such a sweetheart. Uh, I'll tell you a story later on. But um, pretty much, I uh, I walked inside the car. I was on time. I was actually like 20 minutes early. I was sitting around waiting for him. Because I didn't know who he was because it's the first time I'm seeing him. I didn't know who he was. So I was just sitting in the corner where there's like a waiting area. And there's like this green bench uh, attached to the wall. And I was sitting there. There was like a fence, like a railing. And uh, past the railing is where all the cars are parked. All the cars for that specific time slot are uh, are parked in an order, and uh, whenever your time is up, and whenever you see your your uh, your instructor, you're supposed to walk into your car and go inside the passenger seat, uh, or or if they tell you otherwise, and go into the driver's seat. Anyways, I I didn't know who who was going to be my instructor because this this is the second person I haven't seen uh, my my first instructor's buddy, so I was just looking around, I was looking around, and I see this really tall guy. He comes in, he sits down inside the car, and I'm like. Oh, okay, interesting. And I was like, oh, 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 shit, that's my car. <laughs> I, I need to go inside there. And so I go in, I sit down, and the guy's like, oh, nice, nice to meet you. And he was like, oh, he was very nice. He was very calm. Uh, um, we, we need to give this blue book. This thing is very important, this blue book. It's, um, it's the record book, if you guys can see it clearly. It's a record training book. This is the, the, the thing that says how many lessons you've gone under, whatever you've passed, whatever you've, you've, you haven't done yet. Um, and, uh, and yeah, he took a look at it and he was like, okay, so, okay, this is what you've done. This is what you're going to do. And he was so chill about it. And the thing is, I told him I have a bit of experience with driving, which I do. I was, I used to drive a, a bit in Jakarta before I came to Singapore. And, um, he, he listened to me. He was like, okay, let's test that theory out. And then he let me drive inside the circuit, which I did pretty decently well, if I should say so myself. And he was like, okay, that's fair enough. Let's go outside to the public, uh, main road. And so we did, we headed out and, uh, I, I just started driving because he said, you know what, let's just go. Let's just go for a joyride and then let's see you go through junctions. We're going to turn left, we're going to turn right. And then we did that. The entire time, uh, I legitimately didn't know that it's been like two hours, but it had been two hours because I was just driving and he was just talking and chatting. And as we were just discussing things, he was talking about his previous experiences as an instructor and how much he's learned past. And he was talking about like different things that we're going to have to do. And it was such an interesting experience for me because i had met an instructor who was actually very passionate about about uh, his entire experience there he just he didn't care about what i knew how to drive he he was just there to do his job and then he left which is kind of the mindset i'm using right now in the army is i don't really don't care anymore i just do my job and i and i get out uh and that's kind of the mindset that a lot of people have nowadays and it's it's understandably the the mindset you should have but if there's a reason to why that exists it's probably because there's a lack of um uh it's a lack of what, what is that word in English? I can think of it in Tamil, but I don't know it in English. Uh, incentive, yeah. There's a lack of incentive because if there isn't a certain amount of incentive uh, that's there for you to do your job, then then I, I I don't know what else what else will be there. Obviously, money is incentive, but if you aren't being paid every day, then then I don't see why. Oh, I okay, I have to work every thirty days for me to get paid by the end of the month. I mean, of course, you're not just going to get money flying from the sky. You have to earn it. But at the same time, it's not only money that's going to incentivize whatever you do. Because especially for big firms, you're going to have to do. You're going to have to have some sort of um, other incentives, like some perks, some uh, I don't know, like mattress discounts or something. I don't know why mattress out of everything <laughs> you could ever get. I don't know book sales or uh, a free Netflix subscription. Except you shouldn't use it at work. Wink, wink. I do. Um, actually I do because I'm allowed to use Netflix at work when I'm off my duty. Anyway, the point is there's going to be, actually, I don't even know what I'm talking about. The entire, the podcast is supposed to be something else entirely, but this is what I mean by improvising. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is still going to be quite interesting for people who are, who are not, um, entirely indulged in this podcast experience. But anyways, what I wanted to say initially is how to deal with people at work, because I know for a fact, I've been through this personally as an experience there's going to be different profiling of of different people out there the, uh, the character the personality um the kind of things they do and obviously i'm not going to name names but if whoever these people are if you watch this then you'll know for sure now i'm the type of guy to say things directly to your face if i don't like you i'll tell you i don't like you if i do like you i'll tell you i love you 
at the same time, if you're doing something that I don't appreciate, I will I will tell you straight up that I that I don't appreciate this. And so with that being said, if I'm talking about you and you know I'm talking about you, then just think of it as criticism and not necessarily complaining. Um, because I've seen this in a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I'm interacting with, they kind of don't understand or, or maybe just don't, they just lack the maturity to be able to comprehend or necessarily to be able to really react to uh, the situation at hand. Uh, and so personally for me, at work, I had to engage with a lot of people who, um, who, are, who are people who are know, diff- different personalities, you know, obviously from different backgrounds, uh, different race. And uh, that's going to play a part into how they were raised up and how they are as, as a person. For instance, I'll tell you this. At my job, we, we actually work with, with schedules because we work, obviously you're working on shifts because uh, it's, it's not like an IT job where you sit down and everyone's on a computer and you just do just mash buttons. Uh, my job is a bit more, it's, it's based on security. So obviously we'll be changing shifts, we'll be uh, defending the camp, whatnot. And so once, since we're doing that, we're going to have to do that in shifts because we can't be doing 24 hours straight, right? Obviously not. So in order for that to happen, we're, we have scheduling. We have shifts and we have laid out a schedule. And uh, I have taken this, I've taken over this responsibility when uh, the old people, my old team who, who trained us, once they left, I took over the responsibility and have been doing this for the past, I don't know how, how many months. And the biggest problem I encounter is, uh, is, is, you know, communicating with the people who are, you know, obviously doing the work in the, you know, a part of, with, with the schedule itself. The, the, there's, there's two different things. There's, there's dealing with difficult people and there's dealing with people. Yeah, I, I'm necessarily talking about difficult people, but at the same time, people in general, because you need to be able to uh, really try to trying to show your point out there. You know, you want to put your point, you want to raise your point out there, but at the same time, you want to be able to understand what they're what they're saying, where they're coming from. Uh, so perspective is qu- quietly one of the most important things. If you guys listened to my previous podcast about um, uh, adulthood and all, a perspective is something that I would have mentioned is one of the key things to a, uh, a successful adult, a successful adulthood, and is definitely by far the most important thing for a successful career or a successful managing people. You know. Uh, you definitely need that maturity and perspective is one of the high top ranking things out uh, up there. Um, so with that being said, one of the few things that you're going to have to do is essentially be able to understand what they mean when they say something. So for instance, let's say there's a midnight shift between, uh, let's say, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's 11 to 5, one, one shot. Okay, that's around six, six hours. Yeah. And so that timing, one person has to be at sentry, which is a post. And they're just going to have to sit there with a gun, making sure there aren't any uh, by, there aren't any uh, people walking in without any permission or there aren't any random people coming in and trying to, trying to bomb us or something. That's legitimately what we do. And, uh, and so that, there's a timing, six hours. Now, if we don't have enough people, we are forced to, and I am forced to, place whoever is available who has had an enough amount of rest. Enough means seven hours of of at least rest. Not sleep. Now, that's something, a very common misconception. Seven hours of rest, not seven hours of sleep. Rest could mean just lying down with your eyes closed, but not sleeping. I learned that the hard way. But seven hours of rest onwards, you can do a certain amount of, of, of duties. Uh, so with that being said, at, with, with that logic being applied, I need to find someone who has enough rest to do that duties. So it's split into three hours. Uh, you do three hours and then three three more hours because you can't do more than three hours at once. So with, you know, with that logic, with all these criteria, with all these marks in my head, I have to make these points. And once I do that, I always have people coming in saying like, you know, I'm too lazy to wake up in the morning. I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And that's fine. I guess you have a point because at the end of the day, you're the ones who's going to be doing that shift. If you're not comfortable with it, I can try to work my way around to give you something that's going to be a win-win for you and me. That's fine. But then when there's people who really go out to their lengths 
all the way to get the best that they can get while screwing the rest of us over. There's this one time I spent around two and a half days uh, just planning, and then I spent three hours making the plan. Now, keep in mind, this is not my job, right? I should be out enjoying my off days, but instead, I worry about the troubles we're going to face at work. So I'm like, you know what? In order to avoid all that, let me just spend a few amount, just, a, just, just three hours on one schedule. Because we're struggling with manpower on that day. We don't have a lot of people. So I'm like, you know what? Fine. Let's, let's do some work. And I do it. I figure out a solid top notch. I have used every single, every ounce of brain cell in my brain. And I've come up with this amazing plan. Okay. And it's amazing because I know it's amazing. I walk in a camp. Everyone's fine with it, except this one guy. He comes in and he says, I don't like this. I don't, I don't want to do this many hours at this point of time, simply because he doesn't want to wake up at that time. Now, everyone else, because everyone knows this is a tough period of time. We don't have a lot of people to do the work with. So we need to work with who we have. Everyone else is compromising. But this guy doesn't want to. And if, we, if he doesn't, he's not going to show up to work. And if he doesn't show up to work, then we, we're screwed even more because we don't have, because we can't even lose one person. If we lose one person, then we're, we're actually really, really screwed because we'd have only three people to work with and the minimum is four. So with that in, in mind, we legitimately, I, I had no choice but to undo all of that work I spent three hours on just to satisfy this one guy. Now, what pissed me off the most I didn't even care the fact that I wasted three hours and I just, as long as he was satisfied, I was fine. But what pissed me off most is the last day we were about to head home. The last day, this dude has the guts to come and tell us. We were all in the guard room. He has the guts. To tell us that, you know, you know, something else would have been a better idea. And that something else was the plan that I placed for the first day. The thing I spent three hours on, that he said that would have been a better idea. I I went I went crazy. I legitimately I was I was mad. I was definitely mad. But one thing about me, if you guys should know, is I I, I don't necessarily show off my anger immediately. I, I just I keep it in, which is kind of a bad thing. A lot of people do say that. But the reason I do that is because I like to release them <laughs> at spurts. So it actually makes sense. So I do that with, with a lot. I think, and I'm, I'm thinking, is this a logical time to get angry? I mean, should I get angry? Okay, here we are. I'm pissed off. You're screwed. And so there's an outburst of anger out there. But it's just when I, I only do that when I think it's necessary or else I just stay quiet. I was, I was quiet. And once he left the room, then I was so angry. I was literally ranting to every single person there. And they understood. They were, right. they were like, yes, you're correct. He's been an idiot and you were unfortunate enough to have, have been fooled. And so from then onwards, I learned, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. But at the, obviously what I mean, what I'm saying is you fool me more than two times and actually I'm the idiot. So I'm the fool. So what I did was from then onwards, the first person I ask is that guy. Is this Okay. And I make sure I record that. I take a screenshot. I let everybody know that he's okay with this. And then I go ahead and I say, you know what? From now on, no changes are already being made. If you have anything to say, you can say it to yourself in the mirror. And so that's what I did. I enforced that. And I'll tell you what. He didn't, he didn't speak a single word about it ever again. That was a massive dub for me, ladies and gentlemen. That was a dub. And up to this day... No questions asked. And I am over here going to work in a few hours time. Man, that feels good. I, I, I kept that inside myself for a long time. You know, to be able to actually let that go free out in the world is, is a blessing. Thank you very much for listening. And I think that I didn't answer any of your questions or even the topic I was trying to discuss today. But we have run out of time. And um, this was pretty much a rant session. So that's what this podcast episode will be called. A ranting session. Thank you so much for listening to my rant. I kind of scammed you into listening to this, but hell, you're not complaining. 
Because I am. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> have a great weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Weekend. Today's Wednesday. Anyway, have a future great weekend. Have an amazing day. Make sure you stay safe because that's very important now. And as always, please make sure to late, rate, late, not don't late. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're listening to this on YouTube. And if you're on Spotify, follow my podcast. Come on. You got to listen to my podcast. It's amazing. Or I like to say so myself. <laughs> anyway. Peace out.